Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, what's up, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in once again to All Cool Stuff. I am Cool Card. I'm a little under the weather right now, as you can hear in my voice. <coughs> but I'm getting better. I'm here for you, though. It's not going to stop the show. You know what I mean? So, listen here. 95% of the population, probably around the world, are music lovers, right? We're all music lovers. We love our music, man. We have to have our music jamming, bopping in the car. When we walk in the street, got to have our headphones on, ear pods in, right? But we're faced with a dilemma. Because now is the age of digital music, and there's something called an iPod, and then there's also your smartphone. And your smartphone is an MP3 player. So we don't want to walk around with two devices in our pocket, too much in your left pocket, too much in your right pocket. You got your wallet in your pocket. You got your cell phone in your pocket. You got your iPod in your pocket. And whoever else, whatever else you may have in your pocket. Just too much in your pocket. So that's one dilemma. So the next dilemma is you may not want to subscribe to Apple Music. Maybe you can't afford it or maybe you just don't want to pay for it. You don't want to subscribe to Spotify. You don't want to subscribe to Tidal. You may not be that person that wants to do it. I subscribe to Apple Music because it works for me. I love the platform and I love what it has to offer. I don't have to buy albums. I pay my little $9.99 a month and I can listen to whatever I want to listen to. I store the, the uh, albums in my little cloud and I get it like that. I get it done. All right. But there's a lot of you guys out there that don't want to spend that money. And I get that. It's okay. It's cool. Because I didn't want to do it for a while either. And then I got that three month trial, three month free trial Apple Music and... Man, they, they got my dollars. They they, they they took me for my chip music money, they'll find. They took me. They took me. <laughs> but listen, you don't want to pay. You don't want to be that subscriber. So you say, okay, well, what do I do? Well, here's problem number three that you, that you encounter. You may have a smartphone that only has like 16 gigs. So if you put like 20 songs on there, you're pretty much out of storage, you know? You might have some videos and your pictures and all that. Now, now you're out of storage. You don't know what to do. So what do you do? You can't listen to your music. You can't listen to your playlist like you want to. But then comes another problem. You can't stream anything continuously other than like Pandora. But you can't really line your, your songs up like you want to, right? You can't really line your songs up like you want to on Pandora. Pandora just gives you what they want to give you. Some of us don't want that. Some of us want to strictly listen to some 2 chains. Some of us want to strictly listen to some Diddy. Some of us want to listen to some 50 Cent. Some want to listen to Drake. Some want to listen to a mixture of all that in one playlist. You get where I'm going, right? But you can't do that on Pandora. So then you go to YouTube. You got your YouTube app. You make a playlist on there. Yes, you can listen to your playlist continuously because it moves on to the next song, to the next song. But you have to stay in the app. So what happens when somebody calls your phone or you need to go send a text message and you go out of the app, the music stops playing. You go to your web browser, your music stops playing. Well, guess what? I got that tip for you. Like I told you before, I got them tips for you. Didn't I tell you I had that? Huh? Didn't I tell you I got that? Hey, come on here, y'all playing with me. Let's go. Tips on me. All right, guys. Let's get started here. So I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm not quite sure if this works with all other smartphones. I know it works with the iPhone. Uh, with, Galaxy, with the Galaxy uh, series, I know that they have multitasking. You can watch YouTube and do other things at the same time on that phone on those phones you can use split screen and all types of craziness uh, which is pretty cool actually I wish iPhone had that multitasking feature I know it has the cards feature but it does not have the fully functional multitasking feature just yet I'm sure it's going to come uh, but uh, with the iPhone don't think that Apple left you hanging with being able to listen to YouTube while outside of the YouTube browser. Now let's be clear, do not use the YouTube app. You have to use the YouTube browser in Safari. Go to YouTube in Safari 
and could log in, do whatever you got to do. But uh, if you want to listen to your songs <clears throat> or you want to create a playlist, and for those who do not know how to create a playlist, you simply click on Add To here. You see a drop down menu, and down here it says Create Playlist. So you're going to want to create a playlist if you don't already have one. Well, actually, I already created a playlist on this, so you, it's not there. But you'll see Create a Playlist. You click on that, it's going to add whatever song. Uh, page you're on is going to add that song to the playlist and then you just go to another page and you click on add to and then that playlist name will be there you just put it in there then once you have your playlist you will click on playlist on your sidebar menu and you'll see your playlist over here once you go into your playlist or to one of the songs on the playlist and you'll have all your songs here you can have two you can have 50 doesn't matter but once you have your playlist then you can listen to your music continuously outside of outside of the Safari browser if you do one simple thing. Now, what you will need is your iPhone and the earpods that come in the packaging with your phone, the stock earpods. OK, you'll need that. So let's get into this song. This song is one of my old songs when I used to do music. I don't do that anymore. I give you guys tips and tricks and reviews and all that. But I don't do the music thing anymore. So I'm going to use my songs so, uh, just to keep it royalty free. I mean, I may receive some royalties. I don't know. But <laughs> uh, but just to keep it royalty free and from getting sued, I'm going to use two of my songs. So I'm going to start this song. You'll hear it playing. All right. You hear the song playing. I'm going to plug the earphones in. The song should continue playing. All right. The song continues to play. So, let's go outside of the browser. Actually, I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's go outside of the browser. Let's click out of it. The song stops. All right. So, if you have your stock ear for ear pods, all you're going to do is use this mechanism right here, the play and stop mechanism. Click on it. And the song starts to play. So hey, now you're in business. You're listening to your music. You're listening to your playlist outside of the Safari browser. You can click on Instagram, Facebook, go into your pictures, whatever you want to do, and you can keep on jamming. Now, I know you're saying, well, will it con will it really continue to play to the next song? Well, let me show you. Let's go in here. Let's speed this song up a little bit. It's going to play out. And the next song is going to come on in just a second. I'll speed it up a little bit more for you guys. Next song will come on. Well, let's go outside of the app. Well, not the app, the browser. Hit play again. That song is ending, and you should hear the next song come right on. In five, four, three, two, one. And there it is. The next song, jamming. You are now jamming outside of the YouTube page on your Safari browser. So that is your tip and trick of the day. I hope you can take that with you, share that with your friends, tell everybody. Uh, you no longer have to feel the pressure of having to subscribe to Apple Music, uh, Spotify, or Tidal, or whatever other streaming service that is out there. Not saying you, do, not saying not to, because I do. I love it. Apple Music. Uh, I also like Tidal too, uh, but I just chose Apple Music over Tidal. But uh, it, there, it's it's good streaming services. But you don't have to feel the pressure of uh, signing up for those anymore, subscribing to those anymore. Uh, you can strictly use your YouTube and use it like this and jam, rock out. All right, cool. Hey, y'all, it's been another one from All Cool Stuff and Cool Card. Hey, I'm under the weather. I apologize for coming on here like this, but I couldn't leave you hanging. I wanted to come on, give you a little quick tip, let you take it, run with it, go share it, man. Tell the world about it. Subscribe down below. Click the screen at the end. If you want to follow, keep on, you know, keep up with what I'm doing on here. You can also hit me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Periscope. Instagram and Periscope is cool card. That's cool with a K, card with a K. You know the deal. You know the drill. Everything else is all cool stuff. Thank y'all for tuning in. Until y'all, until next time, you guys, man. Peace. I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. My subscribers are going up. It's going up.
is going up every week. I appreciate that. I appreciate the love. I'm out, man. I'm going to go get me some tea, something, something to a cough drop to suck on or something. Man, I got to get right. I ain't right. I ain't right. <laughs>